All right, recently I've noticed a, a lot of sort of people that, that seem to be visibly uh, disturbed by the fact that people are uh, not only trying meat-based diets, carnivore diets, I mean, to them that's a, you shouldn't even be allowed to do that, but, the, but just as importantly, uh, we're seeing people have quite a bit of success with that. Now, not every single person ever tries a carnivore diet will, will come away raving. Uh, there's certainly some people who say it didn't work for them or something like that, but a large number, probably a majority of the people that do this notice significant improvements in their health. And, you know, the concern is why are people mad about that? What is, what is, what is the problem there? Are they truly worried about some stranger they've never met's health? Is that really what's going on? That they're, oh, I'm concerned about your long-term future? Do you really think that's honestly what's going on? Or is it the fact that people having success on what should be a diet that should not cause success, you know, based on everything we know or we think we know, is is causing some sort of cognitive dissonance or so causing, is it's, un, it's, it's unsettling for people to be faced with something where they had long held beliefs. I think a balanced diet, I think vegetables are necessary for health. And all of a sudden you're people, there are people that are, that are doing things that are flying in the face of that. And so it upsets the apple cart. You know, it's, it, you know, gives you cause for pause about where am I getting my information? You know, I've trusted doctors for a long period of time. I put, I revere them. I put them on this pedestal. They tell me I need to eat fruits and vegetables and whole grains. And all of a sudden you're saying, well, maybe that's not true. You know, my, my mother, my, my, my mother told me to eat my vegetables. How could it be that, that I don't have to eat them and I don't have to eat lots of fiber and I don't need to have a balanced diet? That just is too upsetting to me. You know, it, it changes my worldview. You mean to tell me maybe I shouldn't trust all these government agencies. Maybe I shouldn't t trust all these doctors. Maybe I shouldn't trust, for God's sake, my mother, who've all told me this information. Is that why this is so upsetting for people? I think that's probably largely what this has to do with. Now, you know, again, we, we are letting people, you know, and, and, and seeing what people, what happens when they do this. Now, in my experience, in my observation, I've been doing this for a long time now, and I've observed many, many thousands of people, a large percentage, in fact, a large plurality, or, and, and rather a majority, people get better when they do this. And, you know, the, the argument about, and I had somebody say, well, I'm not going to believe until I see a long-term, well-controlled, randomized control trial with lots of people over many years with long-term outcomes before I'll adopt a diet like this or even say it's potentially healthy. Well, I would say that there has never, ever, ever been a diet that has met that level of scientific rigor. There are no studies out there long-term on vegan diets, Mediterranean diets, where they actually isolate people ensure they're eating what they say they're eating, control all the other variables and do it for a long time with a large number of people. That's never been done, it never will be done. So if that is your standard for uh, determining whether a diet is healthy or not, good luck, because you're never gonna find it for any diet. So anyway, it's just an interesting observation. It seems like more and more people are getting upset as more and more people are, and, and good for you guys, out there saying, hey, I'm doing this, this is helping me. I'm not telling everybody they need to do this, but it's working for me. Keep doing what you're doing, guys. Keep up the good fight. We're, 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 we're upsetting some people, and that's a good thing. All right, guys, we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.